Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming to uh, help us usher these unique, 10 unique young people into their next stage of development. They're moving on from here to high school, but not before stopping at summertime. Uh, we're excited for all of you and all the places that you're headed, and we wanted to um, we wanted to make sure that we tell you how excited we are and all the things that we, all the thoughts that we have about you. So we're going to share a few things, but not before our graduates share with you what they've written and prepared for us. They have worked hard on thinking about their time here at Metro and all of the places where they've gone in their minds and physically and all the things that they've done. Um, and they're going to share those words with you. Uh, They'll introduce themselves when they come up. Come on up. We'll start with um, the, gra the graduate presentation, the who, what, where, when, and why of Metro Montessori Middle School. Graduates. This is the who, what, where, when, and why of our Metro experience. The who. Each of our teachers brought something unique to us during our adolescent years at Metro, from motivation and button pushing to fun and loving times. We love our teachers. John, our happy, positive, and creative teacher, who always encouraged anti bombiness or bombinosity, was always enlightening. Jimmy, our why not approach to teaching friend and his attempts to get involved in our social circles was always lively and filled with humility. Nancy, our slow cadence filled an ego, who always brought us fortune cookies and constant stability, was there for us and very inspiring. Marsha, a teacher who had a wise and calm point of view, a person that kept us on our toes and was 100% encouragement, was a fantastic role model to us all. Andrea, our fun, friendly, and thoughtful teacher, who was there for us when we needed her, with poppy in hand, understood us so well. Our teachers are downright amazing, and we love them like a second family. We also would like to thank our families, and in the way that they supported us throughout our time, time here. We appreciate our peers, and we've made Metro ours. Thank you. So this is the what. Maria Montessori once said that Montessori is an education for independence, preparing not just for school, but for life. What we've had the opportunity to do here at Metro in the last two years has had a huge effect on not only our kids, our opportunity has had a huge effect on not only our experiences at my show, but also on our preparation for the rest of our lives. The classes, field trips, and expeditions have given us unique experiences to learn from and remember because of this place called Metro. Each occupations, humanity, math, Spanish, reading, writing workshop, global connections, OWL, microeconomy, and creative expressions class has given us the opportunity to independently learn unique things vital to our exploration of life. During our time at Metro, we have had the opportunity to go on four exciting class expeditions on both the east and west coasts, including two Aussie trips, one trip to Washington, D.C. and Virginia, and one Oregon Coast trip to Twin Rocks. These trips have allowed us to bond with our classmates and teachers and allowed us to explore our country. These kinds of trips are exclusive to Metro. They contribute to what makes Metro such a pleasurable place to be, unlike most traditional middle schools. We love Metro and the many things that make it such an amazing school. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come here. Uh, this is the when. <laughs> September 3rd, the first day of school. Seventh grade, new place, and unfamiliar people. Olivia and I both came from two different schools. We had entered into this startling world of adolescence. I was so nervous, but everyone seemed so welcoming and friendly. I'd come from a developing school working out his issues, and I was worried I was not going to be in the right place education-wise. I was worried I would never catch up to where I was supposed to be in seventh grade. Even though I felt this way, I was always reassured by my supportive, positive teachers. The Odyssey trip was the highlight of our year. We all grew so much from separate people into one big community, getting closer and closer as the trip and school year went on. At the end of the school year in seventh grade, we traveled to Washington, D.C. This trip was filled with great experiences and memories, but it was also a sad trip because we knew that the end of the school year was coming to a close, 
and our new family was about to be broken up, like solving a puzzle and then destroying it and putting the pieces back in the box. The eighth graders then would go to high school and us seventh graders would take on their old positions, welcoming the new students and moving into a new space. We were all excited to take on an older, more mature role in the class, but we had no idea what the next year would bring to us. September 3rd. September 3rd, the first day of school. Again, eighth grade, new place, familiar and unfamiliar people. This was Daisy and my second year at Metro, and our last. We were eighth graders, leaders, the oldest, the wisest, ready to take on whatever challenges came our way. Honestly, I was looking forward to the beginning of the new school year ready to start over, ready to meet new people, to challenge ourselves, to thrive. My two years at Metro were two of the best years I've experienced. I've enjoyed almost every moment of my time here, even, though all, even through all of the fights and arguments. I got to do amazing things and experience different things here that I would never have been able to do at any other school. I blossomed in math, my toughest, toughest subject, with the help of my incredible teacher, Marcia. I flourished in English with the assistance of Andrea. I learned weird and crazy things that I would never have learned from anyone but John. I learned Spanish in a way no one else but Nancy could have taught me. And I got in awesome arguments with Jimmy about politics. And yes, Ben, global warming does exist. <laughs> These five teachers are my favorite teachers I've ever had, and I will never forget them because of that. On the Odyssey trip this year, we went backpacking at Mount Hood. As many of you <laughs> may have heard, there was a bee attack, and though it was our third day of knowing each other, the entire class was very supportive, com compassionate, and helpful of one another through that hard time. The spring trip was a different story. We hiked uphill for a very long time, which took a toll on a lot of us, but we were also happy and excited to be there at the beach with our friends who were more like family. Everyone supported each other throughout the entire hike, and when it started raining, the class was infected by John's crazy, positive, vibrant, animated attitude. I think I can speak for all of the graduates by saying that through thick and thin, Metro has been there for us, and we are happy to call it our home. We love you all. <laughs>
Preventing war is the work of politicians. Establishing peace is the work of, ed work of educators. The virtues encouraged in practice in Metro all promote peace, inspiring us to explore and celebrate the world around us, as well as respecting all kinds of people and ideas. Throughout our occupations and humanities, we learned how the world functions today. For the, um, in, in the past, uh, where, uh, functions today and in the past. And global connections let us explore the current events of our society, while allowing us to express our opinions freely. Reading and writing workshop, math and Spanish, taught us the essentials of education in an interactive and informative environment. And microeconomy taught us the necessary skills to be able to thrive in an economically run society. However, none of these classes would have been so effective if it weren't for the way that they were taught. Learning through experiences rather than textbooks, we have become powerful voices in our community, supported by our years at the school. Thank you. It was, it's a, always nice to hear from them what their experience has been and what they take away when they leave here. Um, I've neglected to introduce myself. My name is Nancy Coronado and I'm the program director and Spanish teacher at Metro Montessori Middle School. And um, I'd like to introduce Sue Pritzker, the head of school, and she's going to give our, um, our graduate address, or one of them anyway. sure why I'm feeling so emotional about this day and I have a message but I'm not going to read it but I'm going to say that um, I think John can correct me but I think when you have gestalt it's like you know the combination of all the parts equals 13 percent more than the individual parts and that's what this group is um, in the years we've done Metro um, this group each one of these incredible young people has an amazing narrative, their own story. And we get and have had the opportunity to watch that narrative unfold. And I've never seen a group where every single one of you is an essential part of the whole. And so for that, I say we must be doing something right. Um, because we just want to launch you into the next phase of your life with so much love and respect. Um, and I think, you know, everyone within the Montessori, the Child Peace Montessori community, from the board down to Mary, who had this vision to really make this happen, and um, now, you know, in the fourth year of graduates, we're really beginning to see, although we have many more horizons to improve upon, that um, this is really a special opportunity. So, just a quick quote for all of you from Elizabeth Foley. Friends in your life are like pillars on your porch. Sometimes they hold you up, sometimes they lean on you, and sometimes it's just enough to know they're standing by. And I'm sure that's how you all feel about each other and how we feel about you. And thank you all for sharing these couple of years with us. We also offer a service award to the students who have completed 30 documented hours of community service outside of the Child Peace and Metro community. We have four students that have accomplished that this year, and so we have a small award, and then there's another little something that goes with it that didn't get on the table, but it'll come. So, first of all, Dana Taylor. Moss. And Claire Sonnexon. And Griffin Palmer. Um, as we've been reading alumni messages, um, one of the very strong messages we get from our alumni is how um, their community service and commitment to community service really started here and how it's really um, marked a lot of what they do in their life. So we're very excited that you took this opportunity to go beyond, above and beyond.
have a guides address next coming up, and we have um, done this a little bit differently than we have in past years. So if you've been to past graduations, this is going to sound a little bit different. We work together to um, address the students and to tell them what are on our minds as we see them walking away from us. And I'm going to stop. <laughs> OK. Um, every week, twice per week, we meet as a faculty to talk about our school and our program and all of you. We come together to share information and figure out who needs what support and what is working for each one of you. We love these meetings. We love to think about the people that you are and the adults that you're becoming. With that in mind, we want to send you off with our heartfelt thoughts and observations about the 10 of you and about the world that you've lived in for the past two years and how we've seen you grow in our community. With that, I will um, present Jimmy Whips, who will uh, take the first round. Hi. No. It's uh, civic awareness and literacy comes before civic responsibility and action. And our job at this point is to build that awareness and build that civic literacy and those skills. When you came in as seventh graders, or SEBIs as we like to say, you really didn't have much awareness at all about local, national, and global issues. I could say certain words like Putin, or military coup, or Arkansas before Oregon, or the gun debate, and, and not get much of a response. But now, if I mention those issues, and many others, I'll have a well-informed discussion on my hands. I've been astounded on many occasions about how much you know about various issues. I was also impressed by you less than a week ago in our last gathering, as a matter of fact, when confronted with some extra time in class, we came up with that game. You know, the, the famous country awareness and country understanding charades game. I secretly told one group of students a random country anywhere in the world, they had to silently act that country out for the other groups to guess. The results were impressive. And with any semi-well-known country, you acted out and guessed in seconds, mostly. These examples point to a deepening civic awareness and literacy on your part. You know your stuff. Another gauge of your awareness and literacy is the level of informal debate skills I've seen exhibited. Arguments are made, but instead of becoming frustrated, there remains, to this day, a great deal of respect for each other, if not for each other's particular points of view. And this kind of informal debate became a treasured state of affairs for all the students. And finally, where you also shine is in your written work. It was there that you really wrestled individually with the issues, making points, countering with an equally strong point. You made connections between issues and ideas. You have strong reasons for believing what you do, and you can express yourselves eloquently. Many times you have made strong points with humor. A plus. I'm very impressed with you, as you know, and I feel hope knowing that you are heading out into high school, college, and beyond with a solid foundation already developed. We can and we must expect great things from you. It's been an honor working with everyone. This year, 10 of our amazing students graduate, ready to face whatever their teenage years present. We know that Metro has prepared them to see adversity and embrace future opportunity to rise above adversity. Metro has been a place where you 10 wonderful students could gain the knowledge and skills which will allow you to adapt to our ever-changing social climate. We are talking in essence about practical skills and applicable knowledge. Yeah, yeah, some of you are pretty capable bike mechanics, but you also can definitely artistically wield a, a paintbrush. Some of you are bakers and gardeners, singers, dancers, actors, costume designers. Uh, also though, gutter installers, photo editors, scientists, prep chefs, programmers. We really want you to have gained practice in many different skills and areas of learning.
because frankly, we don't know what you will find in your personal journey forward. And we want you to be able to engage in many various ways of doing and thinking in order to find your true and right path. Your first 14 years or so of life have left you multifaceted and entirely individual. You have become the thinkers, the builders, the planners, experimenters, and perhaps most importantly, the leaders of the future. And so, you have one last homework, life work assignment that your Metro guides will be giving you. So go forth and lead your peers, the people that you will meet, the acquaintances and friends you will get to know in the coming years. Lead them through example. Show them how to truly learn, how to deeply care, and how to affect positive change in your, in our beautiful world. Uh, I'm really going to One of the things that's important to me is um, how they relate to each other and how they relate to community. And um, I, I've been a, a bit heavy hearted about some of the things that are going on in schools across the country. And one of the reasons I'm at this school is because we have a chance to teach these amazing people and work with them every day on some of those qualities that are um, making sure that people have a place in the world and feel included and inclusiveness is something that we always talk about. So there, there's a quote that's a bit negative, so pardon me while I say that and go beyond it. But it was from a book, Michael Mead's Water of Life, and he said about adolescence, if the fires that innately burn and use are not intentionally and lovingly added to the hearth of the community, youth will burn down the structures of culture just to feel the warmth. And Metro is an unusual place where all of the affirming, um, experiences of making them feel competent that John just mentioned and, and as well as we do intentionally work on a daily basis ourselves and with them as a as a whole group it's sometimes hard to separate the community um, the adult community and the adolescent community we're all learning together but um, it, we, with great intention we work together for the values of belonging inclusiveness kindness and community and we've watched many graduates now go out and transition into high schools, and some of them are sitting here, and um, rising to their potential, the majority attaining very high grade point averages, and it won't surprise us to hear the same about you. Um, but while parents and guides are always happy to hear of such achievements, grades are nothing if you're not happy, kind individuals finding your place and contributing to the many communities that you'll now join going on from here. The experiences that we've had in traveling together and, and sharing skills and knowledge, working in and out of our problems on a daily basis and um, taking on responsibilities um, will be as important to you as your academic successes. And we hope you will discover by leaving that our shared time in these two years has given you an amazing space to value yourself, to express yourself, and to start to glimpse the adult that you want to be. We've treasured the high energy moments of silliness and fun with each of you, and also deep and challenging conversations with you. It's been a privilege to know you and to see your unique personal values, character, and talents emerge. Um, last words, take the bright light of your insights with you and do wonderful things for yourself and others. Hi, my name is Andrea Sule Swanson and I'm excited to talk about Art with Creators right now. We're ending our year and you're about to be ending your time in Metro. Can you believe it? <laughs> You amazing students are completing a two-year journey of growth through early, early adolescence, and that's gonna continue on for a few more years past Metro. And it has been quite a journey that we've had together. One sure thing that we can celebrate about our graduates is your creative capacity. The group dives into opportunities for self-expression. Maria Montessori emphasized the importance of self-expression, especially in the adolescent plane of development. 
Creative opportunities allow adolescents to explore the depths of their own minds while unearthing new layers of thought. At Metro, we strive to encourage creative expression as often as we possibly can. In our time together, we have worked on film, plays, songs, sketches, paintings, and graphic design, and this was just in our creative expression class. Each Metro class has the opportunity for creativity, and you, as students, have grabbed each chance to express yourselves as individuals. This particular group has created jello molds of cells, designed calligraphy signs with gold plating, gold leaf plating, and transformed yourselves into healthy food items in a play very recently. We have showcased our original pieces throughout the year in our literary journals and in our coffeehouse performances that the students really came to love over the course of the year. One creative area in our school experience is in our writing. We often have used literature as a means of both creating and analyzing. These students here have twice read collections of group novels and twice engaged in debates about these books. You used your creative and analytical skills to craft arguments and strategies to compete with the other book groups. Your efforts concluded that To Kill a Mockingbird is the great American novel and The Book Thief is the contemporary classic. This year, each student studied a poet in depth and created a poem in the style of their poet. It was amazing to see these students become so comfortable with poets such as William Shakespeare, Allen Ginsberg, Robert Frost, and Langston Hughes. By the end of our month with our poets, the students more easily express the tone and message of their poems merely through your performances in front of your peers. More recently, we sharpened our creative senses in planning, writing, and editing our perfect short stories. The topics of these stories were as varied as the personalities of all of you. Your tales covered bullying, mysterious circuses, World War II soldiers, ocean quests, and grocery store adventures. Each story is, an individual, is as individual as the mind that crafted it, showing the expansive thought capable in your minds. From book talks, to seminars, to NaNoWriMo, to coffeehouse performances, you have inspired each other and even inspired us as teachers. We have witnessed your development in thought and in your confidence. It has been a pleasure and an honor to share this journey with you, with each and every one of you. Continue to explore the vast regions of your mind because you've merely, merely hit the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg here. Never hinder your imagination or the possibilities that are before you. And please keep us posted on all your upcoming adventures. We're going to miss you. So with all of these tools in your toolbox, we're going to send you off into the world. Um, I'm going to miss every single one of you and whether we all are. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to present our graduates now. We'd like to call you up to come across and collect your certificate and your work. Ready? Julia Alba. Ben Moss. Ben <laughs> Olivia Murray Seriello. Dana Taylor.
Miss Daisy Wax. Eli Reeves. <laughs> Claire Sonicson. Lucas Gordon. <laughs> Noah Glassman. and Griffin Palmer. There you have them, the 2014 Metro graduates, all 10 of them uh, quite stunning people in every way.